Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez, and we are here with Sung of the American Film Market, and you are featuring your film, The Bodyguard. Tell me, The Bodyguard has everything and then some, and from what I understand, you don't just star in it, you wrote it, you directed it, in fact, you even did a lot of the choreography, and you do your own stunts. What is The Bodyguard? I think The Bodyguard is the best film you will never see. Okay, and I, I will tell you, just from the trailer alone, I am like, there are a couple scenes, there's one where you are jumping in through the windshield of the glass. Did you come up with that, or did somebody else come up with that? No, I do that. I do that sort of five times, and a few four times. And the last time, you know, I made the, the shot down, perfect. But I hurt my leg. Oh, hey, well, what happened? Did it, uh, like, the glass, you know, get inside my leg. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's an accident, but it doesn't matter. The most important thing is the shot is done. Well, you know, it's interesting because uh, when I look back at what you're doing, I see the choreography, I see all of the martial arts. What do you, uh, where did you start in martial arts? What did you start learning back in the day? I was started learning martial arts since I was 10 years old. I was doing Jackie D. I was doing Chinese tradition Kung Fu, and I was doing Sanda. Uh, I was doing like a combat, a lot of things. You know, in China, some people doing tradition Chinese Kung Fu, some people doing combat, but I doing both. I was, uh, when I was uh, 19 years old, I was go to London for five years. I start, I start a film in London, and at the same time, I open my fight, fight club. So at that moment, I, I have a lot of students, but uh, I have a lot of friend uh, they are great master, great martial artists also and uh, they sometimes uh, we challenge each other you know when you're opening the club everybody wanted to beat you up right, right, right. <laughs> uh, prove right. you are not to be uh, the right you know position you know right, right. but you have to learn all the things example if you are if you are multi champion if you want to challenge me I said okay hold on I need to know how fight in multi way so at that, at, at that time, I learned a lot of different style. A uh, multi, and uh, like a wrestler, and like a Russian martial art, Japanese martial art. Yeah, this, and I think that five years in London is make me like a mixed martial artist. Okay. okay, now I want to find out because you did a lot of the choreography, that I understand, but the directing and writing, like what was your inspiration for doing that? Like, you know, and, and, and where does your love of film go back to? Like, can you remember your first film that you said, oh, I want to do that? Yeah, I think uh, my first film, I, I saw uh, Jake Chen, you know, uh -huh. uh, Play Story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I saw the Bruce Lee film, Into the Dragon. Uh -huh. I said, okay, I want to be that man. And uh, at that moment, I'm very young, you know. Uh -huh. But I got my intention, I got my ambition. I told myself, if I do that, I probably can do better. Wow. But I don't know, it's a case, you know. It's a case, kids always think, you know, for big things. But it's good to always, you know, shoot for the best of what you do, right? Yes, Not to yes. just do it a little bit or I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do things like full throttle. I mean, some of the hits that you guys go for now, and some of the scenes like, I, and I have to say this, a lot of it's not like computer animation. I mean, there's, I mean, you have wire work and certain things done, but I saw some of the, like the hitting, what, what, Who's, who's to, who did that? Like, do you tell them you're going you're gonna to take this punch or what? Yeah, I said, okay. I will punch you. For real. Full speed, full power. But uh, this shot can be rememberable forever. So I am going to hurt <laughs> you, but it's going to work before ever on. So just take it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do you want to do that? He said, no. <laughs> okay. I pay you. I said, okay, yes. <laughs> How much? Enough. Okay. That's good, though. At least yeah. you paid them. Oh, In yeah. LA, they don't pay them. They punch them and they don't pay them. So I'm just. So <laughs> I, I can't tell you how much I paid. You know, uh, this is a joke. She was, sometimes I punch people for speed, for powerful. I kick people for speed, for powerful. Because I take the same. Yeah. 
maybe I get hit. It's much, much more than I hate people. I get a kick. It's much more than I hate people. I kick people. So I show my respect to the standman, to my team first, and they show the respect to me back. Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, sometimes people look at martial arts films and they and they wonder how much is real. You know, some people think, oh, it's all fake. Look, look at camera. The body guard, everything is real. Real. Yeah. A thousand percent real. <laughs> it was so real, I would never want to be an extra in his film because I might get punched. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he can be. Next time I come to LA, if I come to LA to make a film, okay. I would like to invite you. To, you know, okay. make sure you pick up pick up my phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, as long as I can put on like uh, uh, padding, you yes. know. So if anything comes my way, now you you, you of the film, yes. how long did it take to uh, shoot? It's like uh, you said the shooting. Yeah. It's like all production. All production, you know, it's like uh, I take two years for do this all production. Okay. You know, it's a nightmare. Everything is not easy. Everything is difficult. Mm -hmm. But uh, at that moment, it's already passed. It's not important at all. The most important is the great film is finished. I think you know <clears throat> why why I doing this film. You know, I'm a Chinese. You know, Chinese people, you know, Bruce Lee is a great master, great man. He created a kung fu, kung fu film. And, but those years in China, no one, the, the, fil the filmmaker, the company, they don't make a real kung fu film. They make the VR, you know, the fly everywhere. Right. But at this moment, you see Thailand, oh, one book. Mm -hmm. You see Tony Jia and a French guy, and even Americans, they made a comeback. They made an action film, uh, made an action part as real as they can. So every people told to me, okay, soon, forgot it. Chinese Kung film, it died. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm going to prove it. So I made a body guy, I want to prove the world. The best Kung Fu film, it still can be done by Chinese people. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I watch a lot on Netflix because Netflix brings in a lot of Chinese film. There is a one film in Netflix, uh, in Netflix, it's my film, it's called The Street of King. Oh, is it? Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I may have seen it already then. Okay. Right. You already, you, you better go home to check. Okay, I'm ready okay. to check, put it in my queue, and you should too, because you have got to see The Bodyguard. The, I, and I, first of all, I want to know, when are we going to be able to see it in the U.S.? Can we make it happen? No, we, we come here, of course, we come here to shopping around and to see different company. Before I come, I think the love it but when i came here and i showed the company i showed the people they crazy for it and they said okay so why we don't refill some part we make an international big distribution uh -huh. i'm here only for dvd but they said they wanted to do refill some things and uh, you know they love the action yeah. uh, they want to put some american actor and they want to do in the big uh, Distribution. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it's possible to be take it. Yes, just take it. Take cool, what comes. Cool. You know, you've done such a great product, and you and the the footage looks amazing. It's it's hard for me to understand that you not only acted in it, you wrote it, and you directed it, and you did so much more. You know why? You know why? Why? Because we don't got the money. <laughs> but you know what? What a great point. This is a good point because now you know you did it still with the passion. You can see the passion, and yes, you do are doing those things. But now when you have the money, yeah. oh my God, like that's what I want to see. If they, so this is great because this should be inspiring to anybody that has a passion, wants to put it out there. So my question is for you, what's your next project? Um, you know, when I, when I was like 20 years old, I told the people, I said, hey man, I'm going to be the next biggest action star in the next 15 years. Everybody laugh. <laughs> But I know what I'm doing. I think uh, my this film yeah. can prove the bodyguard is prove me how good I am on action. Okay. Uh, it can prove my talent. I'm going to do a big budget. I want the next film. I can't tell you the name, but okay. it definitely is an international budget. Okay. Okay. 
Uh. Now here's my question, because everybody, you know, they think auto automatically becoming a fighter and having a, a discipline and self-control, you know, has already made you very powerful as you are, but what is it you do on a daily basis that you either tell yourself or when others are, you know, down around you, maybe your friends, what do you tell them to inspire them to greatness? You said uh, uh, inspire them to uh, walk in with me? No, just wor uh, working in general. So what do you tell people to inspire them to uh, okay. to live their passion, to live okay. their dream? I understand. So what I want to say to the people, you know, no matter uh, the, how bad the, the people treated to you, no matter how bad the world treated to you, you get, you have to trust yourself. Uh, you are the man. You are the man what you want to be. I love it. Very good. All right, you got to go check out the bodyguard. And I'm telling you, anything that he does is going to be turned into gold. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see the future cool. stuff. And yeah. I'm so glad we got you now because I guarantee we're never going to be able to speak to you again. You're going to be impossible. <laughs> like Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, they'd be like, never be able to get no, to no, them. No. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll make a promise in front of the camera. Yeah, I will come back. I'm with you. All right, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so very cool. much. Thank you. And again, stay tuned for more right here of the Hollywood Social Lounge.